Peter and Suzanne, we're at an excellent place to show you just exactly what firefighters are having to deal with. Check this out. These are this is an example of the kind of spots that they are trying to handle all along the ridge, not only here, but for miles down the ridge. You can see fire and flames popping up. As you said, it stands at 3,000 acres, 10% contained, or they are really looking to get a handle on it soon. With its onslaught of flames along the Charlie Canyon Ridge, the wave of moving fire blowing a massive plume of smoke that could be seen as far as Ventura, the Charlie Fire made an impression on firefighters and neighbors who watched it spread with abandon from less than 100 acres at 3 p.m. to eventually more than 3,000. Andrew Jones and his family saw the smoke from Six Flags Amusement Park and decided to check out the fire. In hindsight, they drove maybe closer than they should have. So we went way to the top of the mountain, as top far as we could go up a dirt trail. And um, the fire was probably a quarter mile down the way, and we we're watching it. Boy, that thing came up probably in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, we couldn't get through the smoke or anything like that. We couldn't see. 220 firefighters were on the ground, but this was largely an air fight. Choppers and planes dumping water, it seemed, every few minutes, filling up from nearby Lake Castaic. 20 to 30 homes were under mandatory evacuation in the San Francisco Canyon Road area, where Ken Ferguson's family lives with emus and mules and horses. He chose not to evacuate because, as a retired private company fire chief, he says he has cleared enough brush and stored enough water to protect his 20 acres. But without the right expertise and equipment, he says. If they have not done their brush clearance, and if there is a lot of brush around their property, they just need to get out because it's, it's really important to protect yourselves. And if you don't have any experience in firefighting, you should not even be here. And that is great advice. We want to show you just down the road here where it is really flared up at just a moment's notice. We've been watching that throughout the night that we've been here on this side of the road as things have died down and then the winds shifted or picked up and the flames have really picked up along with that. And that's what firefighters are going to have to deal with as they fight with as, as they fight with this throughout the night. The good news is so far there are no reports of any injuries and no reports of any structures that have been threatened or damaged which, of course, is the mission, as always, when they're fighting uh, these extensive brush fires like this. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right.